Five reasons small businesses fail within five years in Africa. Small to medium-sized enterprises, SMEs, have a notoriously high failure rate. And if you run a small business, you are in danger of becoming another statistic. According to the Small Business Association, this is the Western Statistics. 50% of all small businesses and startups fail within the first five to seven years of conception. And only 25% make it past the 15th year mark. Place this in the African context and factor in harsher economic environment and inconsistent government policies. Welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel and thanks for watching. On this channel, we bring to you exciting business ideas and information about Africa and the world at large. So if you are new here, consider subscribing and also turn on notification so you don't miss any of our videos. However, across the divide, there are common mistakes that seem to plague entrepreneurs and small business owners. In order to avoid these mistakes, it's imperative that you know the mistakes and how to navigate them. In this video, let's look at the top 5 reasons small businesses fail within the first 5 years in Africa. Number 1. Lack of adequate market research. The hostile economic situation in Africa has created a forced culture of entrepreneurship. Anyone with an idea who needs to make a living has turned to starting a business. Whilst the entrepreneurial spirit is encouraged, it often means people starting businesses jump to create and sell a product or service without any meaningful research. Market research is crucial when planning to launch a business. Without adequate research, it is easy to launch a product or service that no one really wants or finds to be useful, which means no customers. It is also common for founders to launch a product or service in an already saturated market, then have difficulties standing out and attracting customers. This happens quite often in Africa, with people jumping on a wagon that seems to be gaining traction, which means markets are quickly saturated. Failure to adequately research the market could mean failure for your business. Number two, poor marketing and advertising strategies. Marketing and advertising announce your product to the public, allowing potential customers to know of your existence. Almost anyone can market a product, but effective marketing is a different ball game altogether. A well-marketed product or service draws in customers and raises brand awareness. With businesses wanting to cut costs, especially in Africa, they often do not employ an adequate, knowledgeable or experienced marketer and soon add to the already existing noise in the marketing and advertising space. The demise of SMEs is often abated by lack of effective marketing strategies and people in place. Number three, lack of digital presence. If your business is based in urban areas and has no web presence, the chances of failure are high. Urban Africans seem to love the internet and the high usage of social media can be clearly observed from the popularity of the This Flag movement that happened during. Majority of customers often turn to the internet for information and easy communication with brands, and without a website and social media presence, an SME will find it very difficult to compete. It's also much easier for businesses to communicate with clients via the internet because of its affordability and convenience. Number four, lack of human-oriented design for products or service. When a product isn't designed with easy or friendly use in mind, it's hard to launch. It might simply not appeal to the market. Failure to realize this can be the downfall of a small business. Businesses that fail to test and retest, then refine their product, face the possibility of closing because the product might not make adequate sales. Additionally, the lack of consideration for how consumers will use the product, even when well-designed, is another challenge. It's particularly evident when a company tries to launch a product that relies on the continued presence of another, such as electricity. Trying to sell standard desktop in rural areas is a bit unrealistic because a large portion of rural Africans isn't electrified. Failure to consider user friendliness and access to other impacting factors often contributes to the failure of a business. Number five, unrealistic expectations. 
Businesses take a lot longer to turn a profit and remain profitable than most founders are prepared for. Expecting your business to become profitable very quickly and expand just as fast as can lead business owners to act as can lead business owners to act in accordance with that expectation. This can often result unsurprisingly in failure. This isn't to say there aren't businesses that have become profitable very quickly. There are. But most businesses don't. Moreover, expanding too quickly can also pose a problem for a business. Nevertheless, most business owners have unrealistic expectations of how their businesses will grow, which can often lead to poor decision making. That results in failure. To conclude, there are numerous reasons why small businesses fail, and these are just the tip of the iceberg, but also tremendously important. A different combination of reasons, or possibly just one, the first one most likely, can lead to the demise of a business. It is up to you as a business owner to ensure that all factors that contribute to the success of a business are present in your business. There you have it, viewers. Those were top five reasons small businesses fail within the first five years in Africa. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave us a comment. Also, let us know which topics you would want us to cover in our subsequent videos. Do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of our exciting videos. Thanks for watching and see you in our next video. Hello, guys. Hope you're enjoying this video. And if you are, Make sure you click on the subscribe button. At Intro and Systems Limited, we help potential investors like you invest in Africa, just in any part of Africa. So if you're interested, contact us right now. Let's talk business in Africa. Thanks for watching and don't go anywhere. Keep watching and make sure you hit on the subscribe button right now. Ciao. Happy New Year 2020 Africa and welcome to the Business in Africa YouTube channel. Last year, you probably didn't see me much recording like this, right? But I want to tell you something because this year, you're going to be watching me talk a lot about business in Africa. This year, I'll be bringing in a lot of entrepreneurs and CEOs all around Africa just so that we tap into their specific experiences and get to learn a lot about doing business in Africa. And also, I'll be running a mentorship program and I call that the Rufus Business Coaching and Mentorship Program. So if you want to be part of this mentorship program, contact me right now on WhatsApp or send me an email using the contacts on the screen right now and I will respond to you directly. If you are already doing some kind of business in Malawi, Namibia, Rwanda, Ghana or in Cameroon and you want to expand your business beyond your country, that's to other parts of Africa, then you are right here in the right place because that's what we do. We try to export local businesses to becoming continental, right? So you need to grow out of your country. So if you want funding, of course, which I know funding is one of the major problems that we face in Africa, you can also contact me. Let's talk about your funding needs because I've also got a lot of people contacting me on a daily basis that they want to invest in Africa. They are looking for potential business ventures to put their money in. So hope this year is going to be a great year for both of us and all of us. And again, I wish you a wonderful new year. Don't go away. Keep watching. Keep subscribing. And make sure you click on the subscribe button right now. And also click on the notification bell so that each time I upload a new video, you'll be the first to know. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you in my next video.